Hello everyone. So welcome again. This time we are going to talk about paper two of J Advanced 2020, which was conducted on 27th September 2020. So let's begin with the first question of mathematics. For a complex number Z, let real part of Z denotes this one, obviously real part. Let S be the set of all complex numbers Z satisfying this equation where iota obviously root minus 1 then the minimum possible value of modulus of z1 minus z2 whole square where z1 and z2 are from set s as mentioned above and real part of z1 is positive while real part of z2 is negative let's understand what the question is talking about it looks like simple algebra is required in order to simplify the given equation because that is going to give me the constraint and from there we would be able to conclude the required result now how to begin with it many options possible why how let's understand if i say z is x plus iota y I will be getting fourth degree equation, but we can see that some terms will be cancelled. Correct? Next possibility. We can plan to put z square as x plus iota y because z is a complex number. Obviously, z square is also a complex number. It would be simplified a bit. Later, we can put z square when solved as x plus iota y. Then again, we can say z is a plus ib or something like that. Option three. We can plan to write this mod z square as z z bar since it is mod z whole 4 so z z bar whole square that is again possible from there I can directly see one z square is cancelled and it's simple in terms of z square then put z as x plus iota y so let's begin with this question z square whole square minus z square z bar square is equal to 4 iota z square meaning that z square equals 0 or other one is z square minus z bar square equals 4 iota if I go with this one let's say z is x plus iota y if I make this substitution I'm getting x square minus y square plus 2ixy minus x square minus y square minus 2ixy is equal to 4 iota. So we can see that x square minus y square is cancelled. We are getting 4 iota xy is equal to 4 iota or simply product xy is equal to 1. And what is this? This is rectangular hyperbola, correct? Now, this is a rectangular hyperbola, which we can trace simply like this one. In first and third quadrant. Correct? Now, the question is saying, find the minimum value of mod z1 minus z2 whole square, where real part of z1 is positive, real part of z2 is negative. Clearly, z1 and z2 are on opposite branches of this hyperbola. Correct. These are on the opposite branches. We need the minimum value. So, how we can get the minimum value? Obviously, by joining the vertex point. So, we know this hyperbola, obviously this point is 1 comma 1, this point is minus 1 minus 1. So what is the required result? Distance between these two points and it comes to be 1 plus 1 whole square plus 1 plus 1 whole square that is 8. So we obtain our required result as 8. Let's write down the required result. I'm sure this simple question is clear. The only thing is you need to understand what the question is talking about. Fourth degree, nothing to worry about. Let's move on to the second one. The probability that a missile hits a target successfully is 0.75. In order to destroy the target completely, at least three successful hits are required. At least three. Then the minimum number of missiles that have to be fired so that probability of completely destroying the target is not less than 0.95. Let's consider the target is being completely destroyed in n trials. 
correct now in end trials you are saying you need at least three hits so what is the case when it will not be destroyed only once hit only twice hit or never hit so the required probability that is completely destroying this is one minus no hit that is nc0 multiplied with we know that ncr q raised to the power n minus r p to the power r is the required probability in such cases now probability of hitting the target is 0.75 that is 3 by 4 so not hitting the target is 1 by 4 1 by 4 raised to the power n we can put this term in brackets so that we can add all nc1 1 by 4 n minus 1 3 by 4 nc2 1 by 4 n minus 2 3 by 4 whole square so this is the required probability now question says the probability that a missile hits a target successfully is 0.75 in order to destroy completely we need at least three successful hits then the minimum number of missiles that have to be fired so that the probability of completely destroying the target is not less than 0.95 meaning it is greater than equal to 0.95 so what we are getting it is 1 by 4 to the power n can be taken common from this bracket right next we are left with 1 plus 3n plus 9 n n minus 1 upon 2 correct what i have done i have taken this term on the other side 0.95 on this side so it is less than equal to 0 0.05 or you can say 1 by 20 now we need to go for hit and trial when you put n equals 5 you see that it is not satisfied the minimum value obtained is n equal to 6 for which this constraint is being satisfied so the correct answer for the given question is 6 i'm sure this is also clear let's take up the next one that is question number 3 let o be the center of the circle x square plus y square equals r square where r is greater than root 5 by 2 suppose pq is a chord of this circle and the equation of line passing through p and q is this one this is clear if the center of circum circle of triangle opq lies on the line x plus 2y equals 4 then what is the value of r let's understand what the question is talking about first let's draw a circle like this we can also trace a chord which is given to me as 2x plus 4y is equal to 5 so let's consider this is the chord required this is intersecting at points p and q center is o right now let's try to make some figure for it if you join these ones question is talking about the circumcenter of it let's understand one beautiful geometrical part if you draw tangent like this what you observe on joining these points can you say this is the diameter of triangle opq why because this angle is right angle and obviously diameter will make right angle at the circumference so when you plan for this circum circle of opq it will pass through opq and say r let's consider this point r is x1 y1 midpoint is m which will be the center question is talking about then the value of r meaning radius of the given circle let's plan now some what is required what is given in this question let r is x1 y1 so equation of pq equation of chord drawn from external point x1 y1 it is given by t equals 0 so this is xx1 plus yy1 is equal to r square but 
it is given to me 2x plus 4y is equal to 5. So, from here on comparing coefficients we are getting x1 by 2 equals y1 by 4 equals r square by 5. Yes, we are getting now point r that is x1 by 1 as 2 r square by 5 comma 4 r square by 5. Now, we are looking for the midpoint of O r. Therefore, m that is midpoint of O r. This will be simply 2 r square upon 5 divided by 2 that is r square by 5 comma 2 r square by 5. This is the required center of the circle. Now, let us understand some part from here again. Now, this point is M. Question clearly says that the center of circumcircle of triangle OPQ is lying on this line, meaning this center is actually lying here on another line like this one, which is parallel. We have the equation of this line. So, pass it through it. Let us move ahead. Since M lies on x plus 2y is equal to 4. So, what we are getting r square by 5 plus 4 r square by 5 is equal to 4 that is r square equals 4 or simply r is equal to 2. I am sure this question is clear that how we are getting the radius as 2 units. Let us write down the correct answer for this question. This is 2 units. I am sure this question is also clear. Time to take up the fourth question. <laughs>